Yo, what's good, y'all? Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know who I be. Y'all know who I rep. Let's get right to it, man. This is going to be a specific video. This video right here, I'm going to say this right now. This is for the fan bases. This is for all the Mamby Pamby, Hallmark card, coddling, holding hands as fans of the Detroit Lions, and specifically in this case, the Wolverines. First of all, let me explain something to all my Facebook people and some of y'all on here. Look here, man. I'm about to tell y'all like Derek P. Fields. Shout out to Derek Fields, too. Shout out to Gridiron Blitz. I like the last two videos he did. Let me just throw y'all this disclaimer. I might not be the brightest dude. I ain't the smartest dude. But one thing for damn sure. I'm not. I'm far from the dumbest. You know, I might even get mad. I might even trip over myself, say something stupid every now and again. Okay, cool. Whatever. Here's the thing, man. When I'm critiquing my team, criticizing my team, whatever, look, man, I've been a fan from day one. I can feel how the fuck I want, y'all. Y'all kill me with this shit. And here's the thing, too. This is what else I hate. A lot of y'all out there, y'all be clowning the Lions. Just a big Michigan up. Like, bro, Michigan ain't shit either. Let's just be honest. Because analysts have said it over and over. Some of us realize it. I had to come to grips with it. Look, man, I love my Michigan Wolverines, and I always will. But the fact of the matter is, man, they've been an overrated program for quite some time. They haven't done shit. Wolverines ain't done shit since Lloyd Carr, and guess what? That's not even our championship. We got to share that. Nebraska got to say in that. They got to share in that. So, now I'll admit the Lions are bad, but damn, at least the Lions fight. Lions ain't, Lions ain't, we ain't had but one bad loss this year. That came at the hands of the Vikings. We lost by 12 points. You know what I'm saying? Mission got three losses. Y'all been beating bad two of them. At least the Lions fight. Unlike the Wolverines, who just bend over and take it every fucking year from Ohio State. Like, y'all don't even give a fuck. These men be in Ann Arbor partying on our field, partying in our locker room. They even go out to Ann Arbor partying in our stores after the fucking fact. But y'all want to sit up here and get mad when somebody, if they pick Michigan to lose, and got good reason to do it. Y'all be saying stupid shit like, oh, we got some fans. Yeah, we do got some fans. But how many of y'all fans are real? I'm a realist, period. I know that gets me in trouble a lot. YouTube show me that every other fucking day, believe me. I'm not some man be pan be coddling ass nigga, dude. I'm not no coddling ass fan, bro. Y'all want to keep on patting these guys over, rubbing them on the head, patting them on the back. Oh, baby, it's going to be okay. No, it's not. It's not. You can't beat Ohio State, period. The Wolverines are the official bitches of the Ohio State fuck eyes. Now, y'all know I hate Ohio State. I can't stand these scarlet red sons of bitches. I hate Ohio State with their flies all over their helmet and shit. And what y'all do? Y'all bend over and give it to them every fucking year. Ain't even beat Ohio State since a dude named Shoestring used to play with us. Like me. I'm a realist. Man Bees Morris is a realist. To an extent, Pride Time B is a realist. You know what I'm saying? Derek P. Fields, a realist. Travis Troxel is a realist. We just see shit for, you know what I'm saying? I call it as I see it. Hello, Dante Chase. A little over emotional at times, but you know, Dante's a realist as well. LB is a realist. And look, man, the point of what I'm saying, don't think just because I'm a fan that I'm just going to go along for the ride or whatever. No, I'm not one of them types. Never have been. I never will be. I tell the truth about the pee stains. I tell the truth about the cryings. I tell the truth about the boovarines.